What's up YouTube? Um, Curtis here back with the video. I uh, got a package the other day from one of my dad's old buddies um, that he worked with the Union Pacific back in the day. Uh, he sent me a package with some cards of his that he had laying around I guess and so I just wanted to show those off. I tried to make a video last night on like I got some packs trying to show off what was in those packs but I had just gotten off work and I was just like in my underwear and the camera angle was off so all you saw was like right here so I figured I'm not gonna put that up but I'll make it like a recap video of things I got some pretty cool stuff uh, I think anyway to add to like you know the junk wax collection uh, first off I got a uh, 1989 Donruss rookies number one card number one Gary Sheffield rookie and it's actually my first graded card I have no graded cards this is a Beckett grading um, BCCG whatever you want to call it uh, graded 10 mint or better Gary Sheffield rookie first graded card I've ever, I've ever owned or ever had or ever really seen in person pretty much so that was really cool uh, next I got a I got two he sent two like cellophane packs or cello packs whatever you want to call them cello packs and um, got some cool stuff out of one of them not much out of the other I got an 87 tops and a 88 Fleer and uh, 87 tops this is pretty much the only card out of there that was really nice so R Raphael Palmero Future Stars it's got a little damage on it if you can see it right there but it's no big deal because I collect I don't sell I've never sold any of my cards so that's really cool I mean it's centered fairly well you can see so that's pretty cool and out of the 88 Fleer I got a lot of cool stuff so um, I'll go through the non rookie stuff on the front of it this is uh, it's a Mark McGuire insert record setters it's for when he set the home run record um, for what is it 40 49 49 home runs in 87 or 88 87 so this is 88 but it's insert about 87 home run record set by Mark McGuire then I got a Chili Davis which I mean Giants Chili Davis so 88 Chili Davis a Robin Young and now for the rookies this is two of these are guys I've, I've wanted rookies for even though I mean it's it's junk like, it's not something amazing but Bill Ripken Cal Ripken's brother I really want the 89 fuckface one but I'll settle for the 88 rookie Bill Ripken and then Ken Caminetti rest in peace for the Astros rookie 88 rookie of Ken Caminetti he died not too long ago well I'm not sure I'd have to look it up, but sometime in the 2000s, this guy died. He had problems with drugs, steroids, you know. But I've always wanted one of those. I'm a fan of controversial players, so. And uh, Edgar Martinez, rookie. So, like I said, nothing good. I mean, I think this is like a couple bucks graded. It's probably like. I mean, the glossy one's worth like 20 bucks, I think, but I think this is just the regular one. I don't, it doesn't feel glossy, but. Edgar Martinez for the Mariners, really cool. And then some other cool stuff, a couple singles. This one I really like. I really like this one, even though it's not like the true, you know, rookie that people want. It's not the 92 Bowman or the 93 Bowman, whatever it was, that people want of this guy. It is the 93 Fleer Ultra Rookie of Mike Piazza. Really cool. That is a really cool card. I like that one. I've wanted a Mike Piazza rookie for a while. And I just haven't had, you know, the 80 bucks or whatever it is to get the Bowman one. So that's really cool. Thank you for this one. This is really cool. And uh, next is just a base Johnny Bench from a really cool set that I wish I had. I don't have any. From I maybe have one or two cards from this set. But uh, it is Johnny Bench. 1980 tops. Johnny Bench. So that's really cool. I don't know too much about Johnny Bench. It's an older generation that I was not part of. 
I have an 82 Johnny Bench, an 82 Donruss Johnny Bench, and that's as much Johnny Bench as I got. I think I have an 87 one when he was a manager or a coach or whatever for a uh, first base coach for for uh, the Reds or whatever, but yeah. 1980 Tops Johnny Bench. My stepdad has the Ricky Henderson of this. Uh, one of these days I hope I can get it from him, but right now it's probably the coolest card from the 1980 that I have. So yeah, that's that. Um, I want to thank you, Eddie, for these. It's really cool of you. I was not expecting, you know, this kind of these kind of cars, especially not this one, this graded one. That's really cool. And be up for display in my baseball card room or the clothes room, as my girlfriend calls it, because it's her clothes and my baseball cards. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Um, yeah. Like, subscribe, whatever, you know, keep collecting. Um, hopefully soon, uh, my dad's wife, um, my dad passed away some years ago and he collected cards a lot. And, uh, so when he passed away, I was to get his, uh, sorry, I'm watching Barry Bonds documentary, but, um, I basically, you know, I collect cards, he collected cards, so I was going to get his cards, and they've been in California for a while, and, um, finally ready to get them now that I'm back into collecting, and, uh, hopefully soon those will be coming, so there's going to be crazy video, you know, kind of like Mason Peterson's with his grandma, all those boxes he got, it's going to be like that, pretty much, so I can't wait to show you guys that, and, um, yeah, still haven't got my <laughs> Buster Posey card that I, I traded that, uh, Bellinger rookie for uh, the lit male lady knocked on my door this morning woke me up and was like uh, we'll find out uh, where it went my boss is back today blah 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 blah. so still haven't got that yet uh, Rusty I know you sent it it's not your fault it's I live in a small town and the post office is kind of janky so um, yeah hopefully soon I'll have a mail day for that alright see you later guys